Finally, we can now combine best of Llama index for advanced retrieval strategies in our rack or chat with data applications, plus Azure Stack services like Azure AI Search or Cognitive Search, Azure OpenAI to have end-to-end -end advanced rack application. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Alright, let's see how we can combine the best of Llama Index. Well, if you don't know Llama Index is an open source package that has wrapped a lot of advanced retrieval techniques in racks. We have already talked about this before in previous videos. I, I already recorded videos about different retrieval strategies that are developed or wrapped by rack, so you don't need to uh, sorry, by Llama Index, you don't need to recreate them again. And now we're going to see how we can combine or leverage those advanced retrieval techniques in, in RAG developed by Llama Index, added to Azure Stack Services for RAG, which is Azure AI Search, and even using Azure OpenAI like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 for as our LLM choice in our RAG scenarios. So, what's going to be the benefit or why we call this as an advanced RAG scenario? Well, as we can see on the right side, this is our basic rack that user asks something, we retrieve information from our own data and the LLM will answer the user question. But with this approach we're going to talk about, which is we refer that advanced rack, you will see that the retrieval here is really expanded to pre, within retrieval and post retrieval. And this is thanks to Llama index, we can do some advanced techniques rather than just simple retrieval to answer question. This is going to extremely advance our uh, capability for even answering tough questions from the user. For example, why do, what do we mean by pre-retrieval? If a user asks a question, before I suddenly search company data for that using, let's say, Azure AI Search here, with Llama Index, I can crunch user query to multiple sub-queries to make it even further advanced. Or if user asks a question, I will rewrite that query of the user by LLM through Llama Index to make it a better query suitable for better retrieval strategy. So here in this article, he talks about a couple of those components like routing with Llama Index. I can choose a specific tool, a specific rewriting query type, uh, a specific even retrieval method to be chosen automatically by auto vector as an example. These are some Llama index wrap solutions we can have embedded in our Azure based rack scenario. So for running that quickly, I'm going through um, a code that I actually leveraged from this source and Llama index, and I will add that code reference uh, below in video description. Uh, in Discord channel, click on this link of Discord channel in the, uh, in the video description below. You will go to the reference section and there you will see the reference code that are going to run this demo. All right, here I'm using Google Colab, but you can certainly use any Python environment. Uh, based on the code reference, you need to install these packages that include packages for OpenAI, uh, Llama Index, talking also to Azure AI Search because that's our service for retrieving information. And after installing all, you have to make sure you uh, set up your connections to Azure OpenAI. I already added my OpenAI key and endpoint, and then I removed after running this code before I record this video. And you have to select also what model you're going to use for chatting and what model you're going to use for creating embeddings, as simple as that. And then here, I have to define the setup or connections to my Azure AI search. I'm going to create a new index inside my Azure AI search, and I'm going to show you this Azure AI search uh, index that I created, as you can see, this is the one that I created through this demo. And when I run that, and just a refresh, you can see that after running this demo, it created some documents and index that for me. So I have it created. And this is what this code does. All right, so, so far we just created the connection or in credentials. And here I am creating the index with the name we specified on the top and the field that has been added in this code example. So that can, again, just, it's an example of indexing some data in Azure AI search, but yours can be definitely different based on all your data. And we can specify even different settings for retrieving information like vector algorithm type or how you're gonna calculate the similarities, what's the dimensionality of your embedding, so on and so forth. 
So the data that we use, it's an open source data for Paul Graham essay. We just downloaded that and we are going to add it to the index that we created. So moving forward, given that we added this data to the vector index and you just saw that I showed you my Azure portal, I have all this data added after I ran this cell. Now I can start asking question and search my documents using Azure AI search. For example, here, I'm just saying, what is Inception about? That's a question. And based on the structure of print I have specified, it's giving me the relevant chunk with the relevancy score that is captured for me. So it's working, and this is just based on vector search. But as we know, and there you go, these are the retrievals. We can have also hybrid search in Azure AI search. And hybrid search is a combination of vector search plus semantic search. And with the same question getting asked, I can potentially get even further results with this hybrid approach. But again, one of the values we discussed in advanced rack is you can have some pre-retrieval, post-retrieval stuff in your rack scenario. So going back here, this is just one example of that. Instead of sending the query as is to the AI search and get the result back, I can crunch that query to multiple sub-queries and then get the retrieval. For example, here, what happened to the author? That's a very broad question, right? So now automatically this query has been uh, crunched to multiple uh, sub-queries and then it can get asked to, to my um, chat GPT or sorry, my custom chat GPT or RAG application here. So the same question when I ask, as you can see, there are multiple sub-queries and sub-answer based on the original question. So this is, again, just one example of what we can do from for pre trival perspective. But check out the other videos we talked about, Lama Index capabilities in retrieval, and even Lama Index reference codes and, and notebooks. There are a variety of different advanced solutions that you can have in these blue boxes that you can combine with this code example I showed you to have sort of an advanced rag. So think beyond just about chunking and bringing relevant chunks to the prompt and having a basic rag. Now you can further improve it. Of course, make it enterprise ready, but Azure AI services, we just talked about that as an example. So that was a quick overview. And again, I will add this code that I just showed you to the Discord channel on the video description. You can check that out. Thank you. Courage is half of honor. So dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video.